There have been many a mod on the Steam Workshop that talks about new ethics as well as new civics to be added to the game. And, you know, that is the sort of thing that I really like, you know, a little bit of a, a different flavor to the current gameplay and mods are perfect for that for instance let's take the ghouly ones where you can start on a former precursor homeworld or you start on all sorts of weird places the devs have most likely looked at this and were like hmm yes yes this looks pretty cool we, we, we should do something like this and of course they've just added things like the mechanists and uh, servile species starting as rogue servitors, mechanists, etc. But yeah, it looks like things are gonna get a little bit deeper. Welcome to Death Diary 155, where we're talking about species origins. Now you may wonder, Ace Pick, what about enough our species origins? Like, is this yet another, another thing that's being added to the game without them actually balancing things? Yes! And no. So, this is the thing, right? So they basically feel that developers at least feel that the civic system by itself is one of the best things ever added to the game at least in the words of uh you know gray Kolf, uh, daniel Morgort, the uh, lead uh, on lead game director on stellaris and basically said you know what we've got all these cool things and such as uh, you know the the mechanists and uh syncretic evolution and uh, life seeded etc but we don't want to put them in the civic list anymore because they don't really make any sense as a civic. You know, this is not something that would, that you would develop as a nation, except for maybe mechanists. But, you know, you would not develop to start on a life-seated world. No, so instead they've decided to add a system called Origins. Now, what is Origins? So, Origins is basically taking the more extreme versions of the Civic system and putting them in their own category. So, for instance, Life Seated, as I mentioned before, is not really a Civic. Therefore, it will become an Origin. Uh, syncretic Species is very similar. It won't be, no longer be a Civic. It will become an origin. Now that means they will still have the same modifiers attached to them, but they will no longer be part of the civic system, which means they will have, you'll have a little bit more flexibility on your game. Now a lot of the ones that are going to move into the origin system uh, used to be civics that you could not remove, which is something that um, I like. It, it means that ethics are a little bit more dynamic and it means that you can continuously develop your empire as a more fluid thing like i said a little bit more dynamic within the within the whole large thing is this yeah so for instance uh, a couple of the ones that they're adding is uh, prosperous unification now what is prosperous unification i have no idea it could be like the basic one where everybody goes into space mechanists of course syncretic evolution life seeded post-apocalyptic remnants which is a, a new one apparently is going to move over uh and also something called scion which i think is rather cool Looking at the picture of it, it almost looks like uh, it's a version of the uh, syncretic evolution modifier, which I think is rather cool. Also means that because origins will be added to the game, that all of the empire types that previous would have access to a lot of these cool civics, like hive worlds or at least hive minds. Uh, would able be able to start with say life seeders like in the past a, a devouring swarm could not have life seeded but as of the implementation of the origin system uh, they will have it same thing for megacorps for instance because it doesn't make any sense for a megacorp to not be able to have access to mechanists for instance it's basically a way of streamlining things and making sure that more species have access to things that make sense but yeah, it's a, it's a way of making your starting position a little bit more interesting. Maybe also diplomatic implications. That would be cool. Uh, apparently, there is currently 16 in the version of the game that uh, they're working on internally. And uh, they want to do a little bit more. But I would not be surprised that we're going to not be seeing a proper introduction into the origin system until, uh, the, uh, until PDXCon in a month as of this uh, video. Now, that's going to be coming coming in two, uh, two weeks from now when they're going to be talking about what they're actually going to have at PDXCon or at least, you know, what, what could potentially be there. But yeah, in the meantime, uh, you know, Origin system is going to be really good. Another thing that I thought was interesting, uh, there is a picture here of the Civic system. There is a new Civic called Diplomatic Corps. Take from that what you will. Diplomatic Corps, it's, uh, everybody's been teasing it. Everybody's been teasing the Diplomatic expansion to come after ancient relics so i'm excited for finally some spying a little bit of subterfuge and 
diplomacy being added to the game. I'm really looking forward to something like that because a little bit, a little bit more spice in my life. I've been heading over towards the Arc of Ascension lately. You know, instead of playing that, instead of the main game, because it gets it's getting a little bit boring, as including like the Florida Man stuff, where just put all the strikecraft on one frigate because. I can. Now, in the meantime, uh, there's some other stuff afoot as well. Uh, there has been a Kickstarter. Yes, a Kickstarter. Paradox is not particularly comfortable, apparently, with doing its own merch for Stellaris. Therefore, they are working together with a uh, tabletop company called TT Combat, I believe. Uh, let me quickly have a look here. Yeah, TT Combat, to potentially do a tabletop game, and as part of that tabletop game, they've done a pre-Kickstarter where you can buy a model of a Ether Drake. Now, as of the creation of this video, they're currently already at $1,500 pledged out of $7,000, and it will only run for a week. Plus, if they reach a $7,000 marker, then uh, uh, they'll... Uh, they'll they'll allow you to build a dreadnought basically but yeah there's like three different things in the in the shop with a bunch of uh, uh you know uh kickstarter exclusives which is pretty cool but yeah I've, I've, I've already pledged my money on it because i definitely need an aether drake in my showcase next to my um my art book because i have those so for those people that were wondering by the way uh, art books are usually only available at pdxcon two years ago so yeah but we're gonna go and wrap this one up here. If you have any for any more uh, thoughts and you know choices that you want to do about uh, the whole game situation here, what do you want to see? Do you like this origin system and making civics a little bit more fluid? Let's hope they actually add more civics in total, just to you know pad out those. Um, uh, options there and of course this kickstarter thing here do you think that's a cool idea or should uh, pdx just um you know have the money instead to you know cough up the money instead of but yeah it's tt combat that are doing that thing anyway gonna wrap it up here make sure you subscribe or trevor will find you and throat punch you until next time take care of yourself and of course each other <laughs>